The Children's Hour by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow Between the dark and the daylight, when the night is beginning to lower, comes a pause in the day's occupations that is known as the children's hour. I hear in the chamber above me the patter of little feet, the sound of a door that is opened, and voices soft and sweet. From my study I see the lamplight, descending the broad hall stair, grave Alice in laughing Allegra, and Edith with golden hair. A whisper and then a silence, yet I know their merry eyes. They are plotting and planning together to take me by surprise. A sudden rush from the stairway, a sudden raid from the hall, by three doors left unguarded, they enter my castle wall. They climb up into my turret, or the arms and back of my chair. If I try to escape this around me, they seem to be everywhere. They almost devour me with kisses, their arms about me entwine, till I think of the Bishop of Bingen and his mouse tower on the Rhine. Do you think, O oh blue-eyed bandity, because you have scaled the wall? Such an old mustache as I am is not a match for you all. I have you fast in my fortress and will not let you depart, but put you down into the dungeon, in the round tower of my heart. And there will I keep you forever, yes, forever and a day, till the walls shall crumble to ruin and molder in dust away.